Oh, good morning. From somewhere on the North Coast 500. I'm not exactly sure where, because by the time I got here, I was so fed up of trying to find somewhere to park that I didn't really care where we were, I just parked up. So, sadly last night, coming up here was an absolute disaster. It was just problem after problem after problem. All car parks we went to had no parking signs, no overnight parking signs, campers not welcome, all those sorts of things. Um, yeah, it was just really miserable and lots of, um, just felt really unwelcome. I went to a campsite, it wasn't really a campsite, it was a car park with loads of campers on it. I thought, brilliant. I don't mind paying to stay here. And the guy wanted something like 36 pounds, um, which I just sort of kind of laughed at him and just said, you're having a laugh, mate. So we're here, wherever that is. Yeah, so, and it, then his response was something like, uh, good luck trying to find somewhere to park, mate. And uh, that was it. So he wasn't, he wasn't really wrong, was he? So um, yeah, it was a bit of a shame really. So, yeah, we've ended up parking here. It's all right, it's quiet. And then as I was making my coffee this morning, a car came into the car park, sat on his horn for about 25 seconds and then drove off. So that was really miserable. Um, so we're obviously not welcome around here. Well, we probably are. It's probably just a few people that are ruining it for everybody. Um, so there's a few places over there that I want to go and check out. I've got the drone with me. Let's put a jacket on and let's go and check it out. So when I pulled down here yesterday, I actually came down this track by accident and I was mega freaked out by these stones. <laughs> I thought they were headstones. Just driven into a uh, graveyard. So they're all around the car park, look, it must be the stones that they use for setting boundaries. Right, let's go have a little look, see what we can find. I've got absolutely no idea about this area, so. James. Trail blazes the trail. All right, well, I'll put that on there. And if anybody wants to read it, they can pause it. Let's kind of look what we got going on over here. All right, we could have slept in there last night. <laughs> These two look like gravestones, I must admit. the angle of the camera, but I can definitely. There it is. So. Oh man, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Just come out. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain. I have flown the, uh, the drone in a little bit of rain but it isn't waterproof so I don't want to be too clever with it and find out that the drone malfunctions halfway through flight and ends up flying off into the sea somewhere or just sort of collapsing in mid-flight oh look there's loads of ruins there which is pretty cool wow oh, midges no way already I haven't got any stuff for them either well, not stuff for them, stuff to stop them. Look, Emma brought some midgy food with me. Ah, oh, lovely, look. Someone's left a load of rubbish here. And there's no bins around here either to put it in. There's no bins in the car. Oh, there's a bin over there. Look, just by the entrance. I'll take it over there in a second. This is why these places get wrecked. There's a beautiful beach over there. And it looks like there's some cormorants. I don't know birds, don't get me, like, don't think that I'm some sort of bird expert, but I can remember going to Holy Island when I was young on a school trip. And there was, I specifically remember being taught about cormorants and shags. 
never gonna you're never gonna get a, a bird's never gonna forget a bird's name when you're uh, a teenager that's called Shan. Maybe that's just because I'm super immature and clearly still am. Oh man, I'm getting attacked already. Oh, my hand. Looks like I'm gonna have to keep moving because, ah, get off me. Oh yeah, look at this. There's them two birds, look. You can see them on the rocks. So anybody who's a avid bird spotter will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are cormorants. And you can normally tell a cormorant when they put the wings up, because they kind of hang them to the side. Oh, this is good, isn't it? This is what makes it worth coming for, even though you get, get it ruined by other people. This just makes it worth it. There they go, there's the wings going up, look. Now they're either cormorants or shags, one or the other. I'm tempted to fly the drone that way, but I know it will scare them and I think that's a bit cruel. But they're probably going to get scared by me walking anyway. Not they can hear me. I'm already freaking them out. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, they've got their eyes on me. They're like, what's this guy up to coming towards me? There they go, look. See, I can remember that from being a little kid at school, so it's amazing what you can remember. Yeah, these rocks are pretty slippery. Just coming down here to see if there's any little beasties in here. I really want to get the drone over here. I think I'm going to do it before it gets windy and wet. Looks like the tide's coming in. You can see it. Yeah, it's coming in. Decent. Right, let's get this camera off. Let's get the drone up. this morning but this has woken me up beautiful <clears throat> more 
someone's lost a fishing net there. Looks like a lobster basket. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's about two or three degrees, but there's no wind. Um, it's pretty cool. But I'm not like, it's pretty cold, but I'm not actually that cold because there's no wind. So it's decent. I don't know what these little things are. It must be some old <laughs> works of some, some description. A few dog walkers that have turned up now. People walking down there. Yeah, so um, some sort of work to I'd love to buy something like this, just turn it into a proper home. Well, some of these buildings look just left to ruin, all boarded up. It's a real shame. I mean, maybe they're of some historical significance and they're being restored, but still. So that brings us to the end of this morning's walk and I'm really hopeful that um, I'm going to go and get that bag of rubbish. I'm really hopeful that um, the rest of the journey around the infamous NC500 is a lot more pleasurable than what we've experienced so far. I'm sure it will be, I'm sure. You know, we all have good days and we all have bad days and this is probably probably our experience of a bad day. Still beautiful though. Just gotta try and stay away from human beings because they are the only people, or the only thing, obviously people, that can ruin it. Jealous, miserable, unhappy people who don't want other people to have fun. Hopefully there's nothing disgusting in this. Gross. Looks like someone's waste, isn't it? Or dog waste, as well as empty cardboard. There's a bin up here. I don't know why people don't just put stuff in the bin. It's rid ridiculous. So, continue onwards on this journey and uh, I don't know where we're going next I'm gonna try and get round I'm not doing the full NC 500 I'm probably gonna go to Ullapool and then head back over towards Inverness there's a big forest over there that I want to check out that Lou and Syl um, put on their video of the NC 500 so Looks absolutely amazing. I love forests and mountains. Much prefer it to coastlines. Ah, midges. I can't. Ah. Can't get rid of them. I hope this bin's got space in it. Let's get a quick shot of this. Welcome to Flagstone Country. So that's what they are, flagstones. Caith nest folk have used flagstones for hundreds of years. This is gross. Right. Oh man, I can't get it in the bin. And there's no other bins here. Oh, this is minging. I'm just gonna have to put it by the bin. Oh, I'm not happy about that, but at least it's by the bin and not left by some parking area. Right, well we're back at the van now. Dog walkers are turned up. And uh, yeah, I need to go wash my hands now. Thank God I've got something to wash my hands with. Oh, diesel heater's on. I can hear it. So it's ours. Right, let's go make this little monkey up. She might be awake now actually, let's see. Oh. I've locked the van. You can't. I can see you. You're already awake. I don't know what I've done with the keys. Hopefully I haven't lost them. What's she been doing? 
Ta da! Hi! Hi, you okay? Yeah? yeah? What are you run? I love heart. I love heart. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. How do you get in the back door? Such a mess in this van. Wow, nothing fell out on me. You alright? Yep. What have you been doing then? Sorry. How, how long have you been waiting for? Five. Five minutes. No. What? More minutes. More minutes. Five. Cool, I got some good footage on the drone, so we'll get that up in a bit. Let's turn this light on. It's better. See us now. Right, I need to get the uh, hand wipes, because I've been clearing up other people's rubbish. Really? Yeah. So I left a big box of rubbish by some by a bench. Yeah. Horrible. So, right. I'm going to get myself sorted out, get this child fed, and then we're going to get on the road. Are you ready for an adventure? A too long adventure, you mean? Well, yeah, we are travelling. Okay then. Alright, should we do it? Yep. Let's do it. 